हरि ओम शुक्लांबरधर दुष्ट शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदन ध्यानोपात येनाक्षरसमनाय महेश्वरा कृत्न व्याकरण प्रोक्त तस्म पाणीन नम वाक्यकार वरुचि भाष्यकार पतंजलि पाणी सूत्रकार प्रणतस्मिप्रिय Namaste, everybody. Uh, we are on uh, lesson twelve of uh, part one of the Sattvalekar Sanskrit Self Teacher series. Um, so far, we have uh, in the past eleven lessons, we have seen uh, uh, many items. Like we started with uh, the basic present tense verb, and then we saw uh, the Rama Shabda, basically the Akara Anta Pulinga Shabda, then Akara Anta Napunsa Kalinga Shabda. We also saw the uh, pronoun Ya Tad Shabda, which is basically goes like Saha. Tam, Tena, and so on. We also saw Aham, uh, Aham, and so on, which is basically the Atma, Asmat Shabda, I, and also the Yushmat Shabda, and uh, I believe we also saw some adjectives. Today uh, we will start with looking at uh, the Yad Shabda, which is so in English we call it the relative pronoun. Uh, it, it always comes with the Tad Shabda, like in uh, probably those who know Hindi they will be able to recognize this. In Hindi we have this. Uh, जो जिसने एंड सो ऑन लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल जो मनुष्य वहां है मैं उसको जानता हूं सो हियर द जो एंड द उसने दे बेसिकली गो टुगेदर सो हियर इन संस्कृत द स्ट्रक्चर इज वेरी सिमिलर द द द उसने पार्ट इट्स प्लेड बाय द तत् शब्द व्हाइल द जो द पार्ट दैट द जो प्लेस इन द हिंदी सेंटेंस दैट इज प्लेड बाय द यत् शब्द सो इट्स बेसिकली यू आर कनेक्टिंग टू डिफरेंट सेंटेंसेस यू हैव अ रिलेटिव क्लॉज एंड द मेन क्लॉज एंड दे आर कनेक्टेड सो व्हेन वी सी द एग्जांपल्स इट विल बिकम क्लियर So first we will look at the uh, ekavachana rupani of the uh, pullinga shabda. Yad din pullinga, pullinga only. Okay. So it is uh, in prathama vibhakti we will have it as yaha. Dvitiya vibhakti it will be yam. In tritiya it will be yena. In chaturthi it will be yasmai. In panchami it will be yasmat. In shasti it will be yasya. And in saptami it will be yasmin. so those who are familiar with the tad shabd ha you will see instantly that it is basically exactly the same kind of forms there we had saha tam tena tasmai tasmat tasya and tasmi here it is just yaha yam yena yasmai and so on and the meanings of each of the vibhaktis we have repeated it a few times in the previous classes so if you are not very familiar if you listen to the earlier classes you will understand approximately what meanings the various vibhaktis are used so what i will do is we will uh, we'll take up some examples here and then uh, the usage will be clear this is the next page uh, okay so you are able to see page number 32 now right okay i take that yes we can see that yes okay so uh, let us take some examples and then the uh, construction will be uh, easily understood So the first example is yaha shuraha purushaha idanim mama nagare asti sa eva tatra adya gachati. So that is the first sentence. Now this sentence has uh, two parts. The main clause uh, would be sa eva tatra adya gachati. So the, there, uh, if we break it down, we'll see what we'll break it down and try to understand what it is. Gachati. Gachati means goes. Saha gachati, he goes. So that is the main sentence with the karta and the kriya. Saha gachati, he goes. Sa tatra adya gachati, he goes there today. Sa tatra adya gachati. Now, who goes there? Saha is to say if he says saha, who is it referring to? So that information is provided by the relative clause. So yaha shura purusha ha idani mama nagare asti. So shura ha purusha ha idani mama nagare asti. So the Brave man is there in my town now. Shuraha purusha asti. There is a a brave man. Mama nagare asti. So the brave man is in my town. Mama nagare. Idani masti. He is there now. So now, so this is the first part of the sentence, and this is going to be connected to the main clause. So how we connect? We say yaha shuraha purusha. So because shuraha purusha is in prathamal bhakti, we also use the yad shabd in prathamal bhakti. So we say. यह शूर शूर पुरुष इधानी मम नगरे अस्ति दैट ब्रेव मैन 
who is now in my town sa tatra adya gachati that man he is going to go today there so that's that's how you connect the two sentences so the main clause gives what the action is and the relative clause basically explains or gives more information about the subject and the way they are connected is through this yet the combination okay so i i am guessing that probably uh, in your languages you have a uh, similar uh, construct so it should not be that difficult i hope so let us uh, take the second example yam tvam idanim tatra pashyasi sa eva sa bhupaha okay so now we will take the main clause again sa eva sa bhupaha he is that king sa sa bhupaha okay now who is that king who is the saha we are referring to for that we have to go to the relative clause so the relative clause says yam tvam idanim tatra pashyasi so first we will try to break the sentence so what is the main verb in the relative clause that is pashyasi tvam pashyasi so when you see pashyasi you will automatically you should recognize that it is madhyama purusha which is second person so the uh, subject the karta will always be tvam so tvam pashyasi you see what do i see tvam idanim yam pashyasi he who you are seeing so here the person that we are looking at is the object the karma so it is in the uh, dvitiya vibhakti instead of in the first sentence we had yaha now we have yam so tvam yam yam you can the, there is no noun but we can say yam purusham tvam yam purusham idanim pashyasi tatra pashyasi that man who you are looking at there sa eva sabhupaha he is that king okay so in the first example we saw prathama vibhakti usage of yam now we are seeing the dvitiya vibhakti usage of yam so is this clear the way the yat shabda is going to be used in constructing uh, sentences okay so what we can do is now we have uh, five people here so maybe you can all take one one uh, sentence and try to uh, explain so sham do you want to go with the third sentence yes sir yena tupyam dhanam dattam sa eva viraha asti so eva viraha asti okay um yena tupyam uh by whom you have been given money uh -huh. he uh, sa eva viraha asti sa uh, he, he he himself is uh, uh, the brave man he is a brave man or he is a warrior very good so here yena tubhyam dhanam dattam so here uh, it is a passive construction so when you say yena in passive construction uh, the karta the doer is always in tritiya vibhakti so here the money has been given dhanam dattam uh, 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 kasmai dhanam dattam tubhyam dhanam dattam to so you the money has been given by whom kena dattam yena dattam by whom it was given to you sa eva virahasi he is the vira he is the brave man or he is the warrior okay that's the outcome so the next person uh, prashant do you want to go the next example yes yes bad नगरात इदानीम सह मनुष्य आगता स एव यज्ञेश्वर शर्मा इंद्रप्रस्थ नगर से इन दिशिटी नाउ विभक्ति यज्ञेश्वरश I'm not sure what this Yadishwar Sharma is. Oh, that's his name. Yeah, it's a name. Actually, the sentence itself is actually a bit confusing. Uh, let us see. Uh, I feel the sentence probably will need to be changed. Let's see what meaning he gives. You know, maybe you can take the meaning itself as a guide. But if you see here, he himself is Yagnya Datta of the city of Indraprastha, who came from that city. 
who came from that city okay so here actually the sentence is wrong i don't think the sentence is uh, constructed properly so what we will try to do is we will try to construct the sentence from here so here if you see the translation says yagya datta but the name is yagya sharma okay so there is a mistake in the book definitely so we will try to construct it okay so now see the sentence he himself is yagya datta of the city of indraprastha so how do we say that you can say he is yagya datta how will you say he is yagya datta शर्मा Indraprastha Nagarasya Asti. Okay. Now we have to construct the relative clause. So for that we will read the sentence again. The translation: Who came from that city? So the relative clause should connect with he. Okay. Who came from that city? Yaha from that city. So from that city means Tasmat Nagarat. Yaha idani agata ha. Okay. There is no idani, so we can say Tasmat Nagarat. मनुष्यदत्तासन So he is going to be connected in the relative clause also with the yad shabda. So who came? So the, in the relative clause also, if you see, he came. So there also he is the karta. So you can say yaha agata ha for the relative clause. Yaha agata ha tasmat agata ha tasmat nagarat agata ha. He came from that city. Yaha tasmat nagarat agata ha sa eva indra sa eva yajna datta ha indra prastha nagarasya asti. Okay. so that is the fourth sentence uh, like i said there is some definitely some mistake in the uh, sanskrit part of the fourth sentence so next probably uh, shashi ji do you want to take up the next sentence you want to give it a try i think i will skip today oh okay okay no problem somya ji do you want to take up the next one yes i do hi um um yasya purushasy pustakam tvam patasi sa eva mama grihi itana asti idanim asti ah uh, idanim asti yeah, well i the scan i cannot read really but it's okay sorry um the okay. book mm -hmm. no the, the book of this man you are reading mm -hmm. this one now is in my home Yes, so that man is in my is, home. He is in my home now. Correct. Right. So the 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 man whose book you are reading, yes. that man is in my home now. Yes. Yes, the Purushasya Pustakam. So that is Shasti Ubhakti. Yes, the Purushasya Pustakam. The book of which man from Padasi you are reading? Say Eva. He only. Idani Mama Guhe Asti. He only is there in my home now. Okay. Good. Next, Soumya Ji, do you want to take up the next sentence? Um, what me again? No. Oh no, uh, uh, Soumya ji, uh, are you there? Ah, okay, sorry. Yeah. No. I think Soumya ji is probably not at the. Can I ask a question here? Ah yes, uh, sure. Uh, go yeah. ahead. Uh, sure. Yeah. Is there a is there a def different word in Sanskrit for home and house? Do we distinguish there? Ah uh, no, I think Griham would be good for both. Griham. You can say swagriham to say our my own my, my home. So probably you can say that, but griham is should be fine for me. But in house and home we differentiate, isn't it? Ah yeah. So meaning in English we differentiate. Probably if you want, you can say bhavanam for house and griham for home. So you can differentiate. Uh, bhavanam, uh, bhavanam yeah. for house and griham yeah. is house home. Yeah, griham. Yeah, is griham. You can say so home. Yeah. Mm, okay. So English translation is wrong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, actually, it is actually. I mean, it's not uh, right or wrong. What I what we can say is, 
meaning uh, the the same idea may not be conveyed the exact same way in two different languages so in english we differentiate between home and house but the word griham may not differentiate between the two it could refer to the physical house as well as what you call home so both could be probably griham so so that is fine so either way it should be okay whether you translate it as home or house it should be okay 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 thank you so shyam maybe you can go ahead again i think uh, somya ji is probably not here yes shyam do you want to go ahead with the next sentence yasmin grihe saha naraha asti tad griham kutra asti um in which house that man is uh, there mm-hmm. uh, where is that house that house mm-hmm. where is that house where is that house correct so here the house is the common uh, common uh, noun between both the main class and the relative class class so yasmin grihe in which house sa naraha asti that man is there tad griham putra asti where is that house okay there you go so the last one uh, do you want to take it up uh, prashan yes uh, yes yesmai tena dhanam tattam saha krishnaha asti mm-hmm. Uh, whom, uh, by whom money and not by whom wealth by whom would be word. word by whom would be word uh, yena by whom if you say by whom that means the karta is that was the relative class would refer to meaning the relative pronoun would refer to the karta then it would be yena but here you have yasmai so to whom to whom the who by you wealth and uh, 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 money was given is krishna by him uh, by him so uh, to whom money was given or wealth was given by him sah krishna asti he is krishna look so that part is done so we'll go to the next page so that is the relative class uh, meaning relative pronoun usage in um, now we will take up uh, next section of this chapter so here first he is introducing a few words hyaha yesterday okay here actually the word hyaha it's actually yes that usually the sakara then becomes a reserva it's a cognate of yesterday okay the english word yester and the sanskrit hyaha are actually related words actually related. okay hyaha is yesterday parashwaha is day after tomorrow shwaha is tomorrow nirantaram always okay these are all avyaya shabda that means they do not change uh, in the sense usually if you see the nouns and verbs they keep changing but uh, these words they don't change they are always going to be of the same form okay so having covered those four words the next thing that is introducing is future tense okay so so far we have seen uh, present tense verbs like vadati uh, pashyati khadati gachati uh, pachati karoti and so on so now we are going to see future tense so for future tense as of now uh, you just have to remember just like you uh, memorized or uh, meaning you got used to the present tense verbs you will have to use these repeatedly and get used to the future tense also so when you see vadati uh, that is uh, present tense the same verb to speak in future will be vadishyati vadishyati means he will speak uh the ending is similar so t c and me there we had vadati for uh, he speaks prathama purusha vadasi use madhyama purusha and vadami i speak so that will be uh, uttama purusha in uh, future tense it will be vadishyati he shall speak or he will speak vadish vadishyasi you will speak and vadishyami i shall speak and then similarly you have the other verbs drakshyati he shall see Drakshyasi, you shall see. Drakshyami, I shall see. Khadishyati, he shall eat. Khadishyasi, you shall eat. Khadishyami, I shall eat. Gamishyati, he shall go. Gamishyasi, you shall go. Gamishyami, I shall go. Pakshyati, he shall cook. Pakshyasi, you shall cook. And Pakshyami, I shall cook. And then finally, Karishyati, he will do. Karishyasi, you will do, and Karishyami, I shall do. So, as you can see, the ending is similar compared to what you had in the present tense, but the verbs may not follow the same pattern when you are forming 
the future tense. For example, to see, you said pashyati, pashyasi, pashyami in present tense. But here it is drakshyati, drakshasi, drakshami. So it is kind of irregular there. And then in some places you can see there is a ishya added. So vadati becomes vadishyati. There is an ishya added. But in some places it is not ishya. For example, you say pakshyami. It's actually pachati, pachasi, pachami. But here that instead of ishya, you have just you made the pach into pak and you have added a ishya. So it's pakshyati, pakshasi, pakshami. So it is it is not very it's not a very regular change. So you cannot directly derive this song from present tense. So as of now, you just remember these words, and as you get introduced to more verbs and forms, you'll get familiar with this. So now, uh, what we can do is we can just read, go through the eight sentences. Uh, so who wants to take up? Um, there is uh, some Prasanna. Prasuna. Prasuna, do you want to take it up? Uh, I'll try. Okay. Yadatvam. तत्र गमिष्यसि तदा अहम् त्वाम् दिस वन कुड यू प्लीज हेल्प मी त्वाम् द्रक्ष्यामि त्वाम् द्रक्ष्यामि क्या कहूँ तो कैन यू ब्रेक डाउन द सेंटेंस एंड ट्राई टू गेट द मीनिंग यू नो हाउ द यदा तदा कंस्ट्रक्ट वर्स नो सर ओके so yadata just like we saw uh, some time back the yadata construct which is for uh, the relative clause and the main clause this is also the same but only thing is yadata is for time so you might probably remember know that uh, gita shloka yada yada hi dharmasya blanya bhavati bharata abhyutana madharmasya tadatmanam srajamya so that is actually yadata construct when there it is yada yada so whenever this happens then this will happen so that is a kind of construct here so instead of connecting to nouns, you are connecting the times. So when this happens, that happens, that will happen. So yada, so tada aham tuam draksham. We will take that for there is a main clause. Aham tuam draksham means aham drakshami. Drakshami you saw here. Drakshami means I shall see. So aham drakshami, I will see. Aham tuam drakshami, I will see you. Okay. So when will I see you? Kada drakshami, tada aham tuam draksham. I will see you then. Okay. So now then, what does then mean? What is what exact time it's going to be? That will be given to us by the relative clause. So there we, we go to the relative clause, which says, Yada from Tatra Gamishyasi. When you will go there. So when you will go there, at that time, I will see you. Okay. Yada from Tatra Gamishyasi. Tada aham tvam prakshyam. Is that clear? Uh, Khatiji. Do we need here Twam because Gamish Gamishyasi is itself saying you shall go? Yes, it is not required. It is not required. So it's not required. Yeah, if you leave it out also, it will make perfect sense. So I say Yada Tatra Gamishyasi. So I can skip Twam. Yes. Similarly, in the second part also, you can skip Aham because Drakshami itself means Aham Drakshami. Yeah. Yeah. Only when it is in the Prathama Purusha, which is in English called the third person, then you mm. there will be a confusion of who is the Karta. But here there is no the yeah. Purusha, Madhyam Purusha, there is no confusion of the Karta. Yes. Okay. So next, uh, Usha, do you want to take the next sentence? I'll try. Okay, yeah, go ahead, Shana. Yadatvam phalam khadishyasi, tada aham api phalam khadishyami. Yadatvam phalam khadishyasi. When you will eat the fruit, tada aham api phalam khadishyami. Then I will also eat the fruit. I will also eat the fruit. Okay. So next question, do you want to take up the next one? Okay. Yada ramaha atra pashyati. Annam, annam pashyati. Oh, Annam. Okay. Yada Ramaha Annam Pashyati. Pakshyati. Pakshyati. Tada Tvam Api Annam Khadishyati. When Ramaha... It should be Khadishyasi because it is Tvam. So it should be Khadishyasi. There is a printing mistake there. Okay. Yada Ramaha... When Ramaha sees the food... No, not sees. Pakshyati is... What you are saying is Pashyati. Pashyati means when he sees. But this cooks, is Pashyati. Yeah, will, will cook. It's a future tense. Bhavishyat Kala. 
Yada Ramaha Annam Pakshati. When Rama will cook food, or you can say food, uh, Annam generally means uh, rice, basically. He cooks okay. food, okay, Annam Pakshati. Tadathom api Annam So then you also will uh, eat the food. You will also eat the food. Tadathom api Annam Khadishyasi. Okay, that is a mistake there, like I said. So which you can correct. Uh, Soumya ji, are you there? Okay, I'm not sure if you're there. So, Prasunaji, you can maybe take up the next one. Vadi Tvam Yadi Yadi Tvam Tanya Bhushanam Tatra 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 Bhushanam Karishesi Tarhi Tarhi Saha Kadishesi. Yadi Tvam Tatra. So you know the Yadi Tarhi construct, just like Yada Tada. Yadi Tara Yada Tara is time. Yadi Tarhi is if then. Okay. So right. Yadi if and Tarhi will follow I mean what follows Tarhi will be the then part. So okay, now you can translate. Yadi Tvam Tat um oh, sorry, I'm not able to speak. Okay, okay, no problem. So I will probably help you out there. So Yadi Tvam Tatra Bhushanam Karishyasi. So, Tvam Bhushanam Karishyasi. Bhushanam is ornament. Karishyasi usually means to do, but Bhushanam Karishyasi, you can say, make and make, you will make an ornament. Yadi Tvam Tatra Bhushanam Karishyasi. If you make an ornament there, then he saha Khadishyasi. Then he will eat. So, meaning the sentence may not make much sense, but this is just for us to learn to translate and understand. So, so it just means if you will make an ornament there, then he will eat. Okay. Okay. That is there. Uh, so Shashi ji, do you want to try the next one? Which it, it should be a straightforward one. I will try. Okay. My throat is also bad today, so okay. Adde aham mam grahanam griham edani gameshami tam tatra shavaha agib agamish agamishyasi. Agameshasi Kim. Mm -hmm. This is in a question. Adde Aham. Adde is what? Adde. Adde is Adde. today. Uh, today, that's what I was going to say. On top, we saw tomorrow, after tomorrow, but we didn't say today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Today, Aham, ma'am, uh, Aham, ma'am, Graham. Today, in my, my home, Idani. Idani now. Today in my home now. No, not in. So in would be uh, no. Mama Grahe. Okay. Mama so Grahe. here it is just Mama Graham. So you Graham Gamisha means I go to my home. I am Mama Graham Gamisha. I go to my home. I will go to my home. Today I, go, today I will go to my home. Idani Gamisha. Gamisha means go to home. Mm -hmm. uh, Tvam Tatra Shwa Agishamit. Then, then you will come uh, come to my home. Uh, no, then will you come to my home? It's like yeah, will you come to my home tomorrow? Shwaha. Tvam Tatra Shwaha Agamishati Kim. So will you come there tomorrow? Okay. Kim so Kim is like question mark. Yeah. Will you yeah. come to my home? Will you come to my home tomorrow? So I will I will go to my home today now. So will you yeah. come to my home tomorrow? Will you come there tomorrow? Okay. Yeah, thank you. So the next one, uh, Usha, do you want to take it? Oh, you don't have a mic. Okay, not a problem. Sham, maybe you can take up the next one. Okay. Nahi aham tava griham parashvaha agamishyami. No, I will come to your house uh, day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow, good. Okay, Prashant, next one. Kaha idadim tatra kabrishyati. Kaha, who now, where is he, where is he going to go now? No, where is, there is no he, right? Kaha is who. So, kaha tatra gamishyati, tatra gamishyati, kaha tatra gamishyati, who goes, who will go there? 
अन्नम फूड नाइवा नाइ नो आई मीन आई डोंट परिश्यामी पक्ष्यामी पक्ष्यामी कुक आई डोंट कुक द फूड टुडे यस आई विल नॉट कुक फूड टुडे ओके सो नेक्स्ट शशि जी वांट टू टेक अप द लास्ट वन सा कदा तव्या सहस अत्र विद्य त्वया सह व्या सर सा कदा त्वया सह अत्र वदिष्यति 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 ओके सा कदा तव्या यु व्हेन यु सा कदा तव्या सह सो इट इज नॉट यु सो सा वदिष्यति व्हाट अस सा वदिष्यति मीन स्पीक विथ यू When, so when will he speak, speak? Ah, with yes. with you with you twaya saha is with you <laughs> when will he speak with you yeah with you here atra is here okay yeah. okay so now uh, yeah. there are some english sentences to translate so maybe again uh, sham they want to take up the first one uh, Oh, one second. I think yada tum tatra. I should see you. Oh no, no, I think it is just a translation of the above sentences that they have given. So I guess uh, okay, we can leave that. Let's go to. I think that might be it for this lesson. Yeah, this lesson lesson is actually done. So we'll probably stop here. Okay, and then if you have some questions, you can ask me, and then uh, we can uh, call it. Okay, Hari Hum.